All right, you two. I want you to make this place look spotless. Remy mow the lawn. Jasper wash the floors. I don't want to. Make Remy do it. No, Remy's mowing the lawn. But it's dark outside, Mrs. Pickles. How am I supposed to see? Tape a flashlight to your head. I don't care. Adoption day is coming up, and you two better make this place look good. Whoa, adoption day is coming up? Oh, I can't wait to get adopted and get out of here. You're never getting adopted. You're dumb, ugly, and no one will ever want to adopt you. You can mop the floors. I'm going to bed. Later, loser. Ugh, I hate this place. I miss my mom and dad so much. Maybe someday I'll get a new family. I just want to feel like I belong somewhere. I don't hear the lawnmower. Just do what you get for nothing, loser. Because <sighs> I definitely don't belong here. Remy! What's up, Mrs. Pickles? Don't take out the trash, it stinks! I'm studying for school. Make Jasper do it. No! I said I want you to do it! Okay, fine. Huh? What's going on? Look, here they come! Excuse me, unfortunate child. Do you know where the orphan Remy is? Uh, yeah, that's me. Excellent! We're here to adopt you! What? No way! Me? Of course you! Now smile and wave to the paparazzi, dear! What is all this commotion I- Oh my gosh! Norman and Jean Caldwell! You trillionaires! Uh, yes we are! And we want to adopt Remy! Uh, you sure? I mean, he's kind of a loser. Oh, we're sure! Now come along, darling! Let's get you out of this place and away from that miserable woman! Hey, I'm only half miserable! Here we are! Home sweet home! What the heck? You guys actually live here? Most of the time. This is one of our homes. We have about 10, right, honey? I thought it was 12. We hope you like it here, Remy. Like it here? I'm gonna love it here. Thank you guys so much for adopting me. I thought I was gonna be stuck in that orphanage forever. Oh, perfect. He's home. Sup, Mom? Dad? Wait, who is this guy? Kurt, this is your new brother, Remy. What? No way! Nice to meet you, dude! Nice to meet you, too! I didn't know I was gonna have a brother as well! I always wanted a brother! This is gonna be sick! Good! Now let's get Chef to make us some lunch! How are you feeling, man? You look overwhelmed! This morning, I was just some poor orphan! And now I'm adopted by trillionaires? It's, it's kind of a lot! Don't worry, bro! I'll help you out! You're gonna love being a trillionaire! I promise! What are we doing here? Well, if you're gonna be a trillionaire now, you need to look like one. So come on, got nothing to worry about. Yeah, you're right. I trust you. Let's do this. Oh no, Mr. Caldwell! Watch out, a paw has followed you in here! Get out, paw! Whoa, whoa, Gustav! Take it easy, man. This is my new brother, Remy. Oh yes, I saw on the news. We're gonna get Remy here some new clothes. Well, I'm not sure he'll find anything for him here, sir. Maybe the dumpster around the corner will be better. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is a bad idea. Let's just go. Maybe you're right. It's a shame I'll never shop here again now. No, hold on just a second, okay? We can help this poor man out. I mean, it's your brother. Okay, come along with me. Let's get this over with. Uh, okay. Don't worry, dude. It's time for you to experience what it's like to be a trillionaire now. You're a Caldwell. Don't forget it. Just get whatever you want. So, uh, what do you think? You look great, dude. How do you feel? Kind of weird, but I feel kind of cool. Sick. Now, let's go get you a car. Wait, what? Whoa, this thing is fast. This is sick. I love this thing. Whoa, Remy, is that you? Yeah, dude, it's me. What's up, Scott? Oh my gosh, I almost didn't recognize you. Yeah, it's probably these fancy clothes, huh? Yeah, and the sick sports car. Dude, I knew you got adopted, but I didn't expect this. I know, I'm a trillionaire now. Kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, man, I'm super impressed. I'm really happy for you. Chuh, well, I'm not happy for you. I was supposed to be adopted by trillionaires, not him. Well, the Caldwells came to adopt me. They even knew me by name. Wait, they knew who you were? Why? That's not fair. Just get over it, dude. Why don't you go sulk at your locker like you usually do? Shut up, Scott. You both suck. I'm going to be adopted by a rich family, too. And I'll be even richer than you. You'll see. Uh, just ignore him, man. He's obviously super jealous. Where is he? How poor is he, really? Whoa, what is all this? Dad? And here he is, my new son, Remy! Oh, uh, hi? I'm holding a press conference. Everyone wants to know you, son. You know, we'll just answer some questions together. Uh, yeah, sure thing. 
So, is it true you're an orphan and you're poor? Uh, yeah. My parents died when I was really young, and I was an orphan ever since. Okay, great. Now you're a trillionaire. How does it feel? Oh, he loves it. Yeah, it's tough adjusting to, but I think I like it. Sounds like you're deflecting. So you don't want to be a trillionaire? No, no, that's not it at all. I'm just happy to have a home and a family that cares about me again. So, Mr. Caldwell, is he going to Sterling Academy? Of course he is. Remy here is going to start at Sterling Academy next week. He'll be following in his old father's footsteps and going to a private elite school for trillionaires. That's all for now, guys. Thanks. What's wrong, Remy? Are you okay? Not really. I'm bummed out. I'm not going to be going to school with my friends. Do I have to go? It's tradition for Caldwell's to go to Sterling Academy. We have a reputation to uphold, all right? You'll make new friends and be in school with your brother. I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. No, you don't. Here we are, man. Sterling Academy. So this is the fancy school for rich kids, huh? Yep, kids here can be kind of stuck up sometimes, though. But there are some cool people here, too. Oh, Kurt! That's Hamilton Beauregard. He's one of the stuck-up kids. Wow, so this is your new brother, huh? Yep, this is Remy. Well, tell me, which buildings have you bought lately? What? I haven't bought any buildings, dude. No. What about a yacht? You probably have a yacht. Nope, no yacht. Well, so you're just bad at being rich, huh? Guess you're not a real Caldwell. Once trash, always trash. Okay, Hamilton, enough, dude. No, it's okay, man. He can say whatever he wants. I really don't care. You'll never be accepted here. Everyone knows you're poor, and we won't forget it. Wow, you're right. Totally stuck up. He's just jealous, man. His dad's only a billionaire, so he's hated me for years. Don't let him get to you. He hates you? Yeah, I'm kind of the richest kid in the school, so of course he does. Now, come on, I'll show you around. Okay, Remy, Kurt said some poor, stupid billionaire kid picked on you for not having a yacht, huh? So we're getting you one right now. Are you serious? Of course I am. I won't have my sons get picked on by billionaires. It's embarrassing. Just pick one, dude. That one there kind of looks like mine. You should get it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass, guys. Pass on a yacht. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine, Dad. I just don't really want a yacht. I don't even think I'll ever need one, honestly. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't be stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm serious. I don't want it. Okay, Remy, let me be honest with you. I can tell you're having a hard time adjusting to this lifestyle. Yeah, I have, honestly. I mean, I appreciate everything you're offering me and giving me, but I just think maybe I'm not meant for this life. Maybe I'm not meant to be a trillionaire. Nonsense! You're a Caldwell, whether you like it or not! Now, let me go find that salesman. We're getting you the biggest yacht they have! Does he always do that? Pretend like he's not listening to you? Yeah, sometimes. I just think he wants the best for us, that's all. And I think that's for me to decide, not him. I, I can't do this, man. I need to clear my head. Wait, what should I tell Dad? Tell him to pick whichever yacht he wants, since he loves deciding things for me. Why wouldn't he just listen to me? Why did he have to buy me that dumb yacht? Ugh, these stupid clothes. Or these stupid cars. None of this stuff matters anyways. Maybe I overreacted. I'm sure Kurt was right. He's just trying to do what's best for me. I don't know. I just feel like I have a family again. I think I'm somewhere I belong, but it doesn't feel like it's with the Caldwells. Not yet, at least. Yo, dude. Scott. Hey, man. I'm happy to see you. Why are you talking to yourself? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm just going through it right now. Well, let's talk about it. Uh, go to the movies. Want to come with me? Yeah, but I have an idea. Dude, renting out the whole movie theater? All right, now that was sick. Yeah, it felt good sharing this money with someone instead of just wasting it on myself. You know what? I think you should give the Caldwells a chance. Doesn't seem like they're bad people. Yeah, I think you're right. It was good to see you, man. It was like old times. Yeah, it was. Oh, guess what? I heard Jasper finally got adopted by some rich family. He was taken out of school. No way. I wonder who adopted him. Hey, Kurt, sorry for storming off like that the other day. No need to be sorry, man. I get it. Mom and dad are extra. But you're right. They mean well. But I'm not going to change who I am. You shouldn't. You should do what you want to do. Exactly. I think I know what I want to do with my money. Hello, Kurt. Hello, poor. What do you want, Hamilton? Well, I wanted to introduce you two to my new brother, Jasper. Cha! Told you I was getting adopted by a rich family. 
Oh, man, I should have known. The worst family on the planet would adopt the worst person in the orphanage. Shut up, idiot! Jasper knows what it's actually like to be rich, unlike you. Sure, I just bought my first Lambo yesterday, and tomorrow, I'm buying a Taco Blocks! Wow, good for you, dude. Now, leave us alone. Yeah, I know, I'm awesome. And now you know, I'm better than you. Yeah, he is better than you. He's gonna fit in with the rest of us, unlike you. Hamilton, everyone knows your dad is barely a billionaire. If anyone doesn't fit in here, it's you. You don't say that! This is pointless, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I don't even know why Caldwell's adopted him, honestly. It's pathetic. Dude, I said the last time, leave me alone. No, you need to know, you're a nobody, and no one's ever going to love you. Not even your parents loved you. That's it. Ha! Oh! oh I'm telling on you. <laughs> well, you've certainly made your mark at Sterling Academy. First kid to be sent home for punching a poor little kid in the face. Well, he's the one that started it. I don't want to hear it. Hopefully, you can put that behind you. We cannot ruin your Caldwell reputation. I was defending myself from some terrible rich jerks at school. I'm sorry if that ruins your reputation. Yeah, well, I don't know why you're being so stubborn, all right? You're worse than my lawyer. I don't even know why you adopted me. Is that what this is all about, son? Yes. Tell me, why did you adopt me? Me specifically. <sighs> Your mother and I wanted to give someone a family, a good life. We heard you lost your parents in a terrible accident. Yeah, the apartment we lived in was torn down by accident. It was supposed to be the building next to it. I was at school and my parents were home. They didn't even make it out in time. Yeah, well, your mother and I made the choice to adopt you, okay? We heard that story, so we wanted to help you and give you a new life. That is why we did it. Wow, thanks. It means a lot to actually hear that. Kids at school were saying I'm never going to fit in and I don't belong, and I thought this might have been a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. You do belong here. How about I have the chef make us something to eat, huh? Yeah, that would be great. So you're going to give them a chance? They are good people, Scott. They care a lot about their money and their reputation, but they're good people. Well, I'm happy for you. Now let's see this movie. It's part two. I can't wait. Man, why is this guy always everywhere? Whoa, Jasper, you look <laughs> ridiculous, dude. Thank you, Skull. What do you think you're doing here anyway? We're just hanging out. We're going to the movies. Well, you can't anymore, so just turn around and walk away. I just bought this theater. You bought it? Yeah, with my new family's money, too. I'm really fitting in with the Beauregards. Well, good for you, man. I'm really glad you found a family that likes you. Yeah, and you're nothing special, Remy. I can't stand how jealous you are of me. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I knew you liked coming here, Remy. So that's why I bought it. So I can ban you forever. <laughs> Great. Before you were a total jerk. And now you're a total jerk with money. Shut up. And just get out of my movie theater, all right? Come on, Scott. We can find something else to do. So, like, what should I do next? Should I, like, buy an arcade or something? Yeah, whatever. Just buy it. Don't you even care about getting back at him? He called me a jerk with money. He made me look stupid. Honestly, it's all just so boring. Just relax, bro. No, I can't relax, bro. I need to put Remy in his place. I want to make him hurt. Well, I know how we can hurt him. We rich people love gossip and drama. And luckily, my mom tells me everything she hears. So what, dude? I don't care about that stupid stuff. Well, I don't know if it's true, but my mom heard a rumor about the Caldwells and why they really adopted Remy. Oh, really? Then tell me everything. I really like your idea, man. I have your back. Thanks, dude. I just hope Dad does. Okay, Remy. I canceled the meeting for this, so what am I doing here? Well, I know what I want to do with my money. I want to invest in some real estate like you. Great! Love to hear it, son. So, is this? Yep, I'm gonna buy and invest my money into my old orphanage. You can buy any building or business in town, invest in any company, and you wanna invest in this one. Why? Because this was my home for a long time, and I know how tough it was to be an orphan. I can make sure this place has all the funding it needs. Oh, jeez. Uh, would uh, this make you happy? More than a yacht or another car. I really like Remy's idea, Dad. It means a lot to him. 
And I guess it would be great for the Caldwell reputation. You know what? I approve. I'll get everything started for you. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm late for golf with the mayor, all right? The mayor. See you at home, boys. Attention, fellow rich people! I, Jasper Beauregard, have a special announcement! Everyone come to the auditorium immediately! What the heck is this about? I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. Good! Our special guest has arrived! Oh, great. You all know that Remy Caldwell was adopted, right? And I'm guessing many of you wondered why. I know I have. <laughs> Well, I finally found out the truth. Truth? What truth? The Caldwells adopted you to fix their reputation. They are the ones who tore down your parents' apartment. What? No. No, that can't be true. Kurt? Well, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea, man. Cha, it's so true. So how does it feel, Remy, to know they don't care about you at all? They adopted you so they wouldn't look like terrible people, but they are. <laughs> no, Remy. Hey, Remy, wait. Dear, I think I'm going to buy that private island after all. Good investment, honey. The kids will love it, and I'll finally get the tan I want. Remy, what are you doing home? You should be in school, young man. You lied to me about why you adopted me. Honey, you're upset. Let me have Chef make you a- No! I know the truth. You two were the ones that tore down my family's home. So you adopted me to fix your reputation. Who told you that? Jasper did. And then he told the whole school. Great. Beauregard's new kid. So it's true then, isn't it? Yes, it is. We looked like monsters after taking down that building. And after, news of your parents broke out. The public hated us for years. So we thought adopting you would fix that. Wow, I'm just so, so furious right now. I'm not just some fancy car to make you two look good. I'm a person with feelings. Remy, please. No, no more. All I wanted was a family. One that cared about me more than their stupid reputations. I need to go. Honey, where are you going? I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. How's that for your reputation? Whoa, that's crazy. Are you okay? Not really. Can you come and get me? Yeah, don't worry, dude. I'll be right there. Remy, stop. Kurt, I don't want to talk right now. You don't have to, okay? Just, just listen. I talked to mom and dad. They aren't my mom and dad. I know, okay? What they did was kind of messed up. Really messed up, man. They made me think they cared about me when they only cared about themselves. Yeah, I know. And I want to apologize, dude. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I really don't want to hear it right now, dude. I know, but I am sorry. I always wanted a brother, dude, and I felt like I finally found one with you. If you think mom and dad don't care about you, that's fine. But I do, man. Thanks, Kurt. But that can't change what they did. Can you just come home? Maybe we can talk about this. Hey, Remy, let's go. I can't go home, Kurt. I don't think that place is my home anymore. It's all over the news, dude. But you're the Caldwell's newest scandal. Well, I guess their master plan of fixing their reputation backfired. This sucks. I know you're hurting. You're my best friend. I hate seeing you like this. You know how lonely I've been my whole life without my family, and I thought things were starting to change. But I guess Jasper was right. Uh, don't listen to him. Jasper's a jerk, Remy. He always has been. Here's some hot chocolate. Just take tonight, get some sleep, and think about this later. You can always stay here if you want. Thanks, Mr. Smith. I can't believe I have to go back to that dumb rich kid school tomorrow. I'll have to deal with Jasper all day. Why don't you just come to school with me tomorrow? We'll get you back in. It'll be like old times. Yeah, you know, I think I'd like that a lot. Oh, good. You're home. Did you find Remy? Yeah, I did. Then where is he? He's not coming home. Oh, no. This is terrible. The story's all over the news. We need to get him back here so we can turn this rumor around. It's not a rumor if it's the truth. What has gotten into you, young man? I'm mad. You two lied to me. We did what we thought was best. For Remy and our family. No, just for you, not Remy. You guys heard him so bad that now he's probably never coming back. He'll be back, all right? He'll get over it. I've always wanted a brother, so I wouldn't feel so alone in this big, huge house while you guys were off spending money and going to parties. And now, he's gone. Stop being so dramatic. You're upset about all this bad press we're gonna get. That's what it is. You guys just don't care, do you? You know what? I'm done too. What? 
Yeah, I'm gonna be with my brother instead. Not you too! Please stop! So, first day back, how do you feel? Well, I'm glad to not have Jasper or Hamilton to deal with, that's for sure. I had no idea how bad this school really was. Yeah, man, it's kind of rough here. School's got no funding, and I heard they're gonna cut art class next semester. What? Man, that sucks! You know, if I was still a trillionaire, I would do something about this. Well, who knows? Maybe you will be again. Yeah, I doubt it, dude. Uh, hey, Remy. Kurt? What are you doing here? Look, I know you're probably mad at me, but I got into a fight with mom and dad, and I left too. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I just couldn't see for so long how selfish they really are until now. And I can't stand it. So I bought myself a house nearby and I wanted to know if you would live with me. Me? Yeah, dude. What do you say? Well, uh, dude, it would be better than my couch, you know? Yeah, I I'll do it. I don't blame you for anything, man. We're good. Thanks, dude. Now you should come check the place out. I think you'll like it. Whoa, dude, this place is really nice. You think so? Oh yeah, I'm very impressed, but I'm surprised. Surprised about what? Well, I feel like your dad would say something like, This house is too small for a call dwell. What will people think when they see this tiny home? Yeah, probably. I could have gotten a bigger house, but I figured it would just be me and, you know, maybe you, so I didn't want to go overboard. Oh, I'm proud of you. You're finally doing things you want to do. Yeah, I learned that from you. Oh my gosh, this place is a shoebox! Dad, how did you find me? I track all expenses coming in and out of our family bank accounts. I wanted to investigate the purchase that you just made. Well, here it is. This is my house now. Come on, Kurt. This house is for normal people. Ugh. See, I was right. He hasn't changed at all. No, he hasn't. Dad, I think you should go. Go? But I just got here, and I wanted to see you, Remy. I think we should talk, son. I really don't want to talk to you. Well, you're gonna have to forgive me eventually. You two are my sons, my boys! I'm not your son. Just go, Dad, before you make things worse. Fine, I'll go. By the way, this house is a terrible investment, Kurt. I taught you better than this! Terrible! I know it always makes me feel better, dude. Video game shopping. Oh yeah, me too. You know, I knew I liked you, Kurt. Yeah, this was a good idea. Something to get my mind off of things. So what should we do? How about I buy a PS5 and you guys can pick the games? Oh, sweet. Ew, what's this? What are you doing here? We're minding our own business. Yeah, and you should do the same, Jasper. I wasn't talking to you two. I don't talk to poor people. I was talking to Kurt. What do you want, Jasper? Just want to know why you're wasting your time with a sad, poor loser like Remy. You could try to tear us down, dude, but Remy's still my brother, no matter what you say. You should just get lost. You might have a rich family now, but that means nothing. At the end of the day, real family counts. And I found mine, these guys right here. And I don't think you'll ever find that. That's right. Oh, burn, Jasper. Ja, I did find my family. And they're rich and will do anything I want. You still think you're better than me, don't you? I don't need to think that. I don't need to think about you at all anymore. Ugh! I'll show you you're not. You two out of the arcade now. What the heck, dude? I just bought it, so get lost. Ja, you two need to get up and get out. Oh, great. Let me guess. Ja, I just bought this place too. And now you're banned. Bye-bye. Dude, that guy is just buying everything in town just to kick you out of them. This has to be the most childish thing he could do. Yeah, like a baby who won't let anyone play with his toys. Yeah, he's got serious issues, but honestly, I don't care. You'll care? Soon you'll be banned from everywhere in town. So what? I'm not gonna let him get to me. He can't keep this up forever. Seriously, his family has money, but not infinite money. They're gonna run out sometime soon enough. Thanks, guys. Knowing I've got you two makes dealing with this whole lot easier. It's not about where we hang out, but it's about who we're with, right? Yeah, Jasper can buy all the places he wants, but he can't buy friendship like this. Absolutely. You're stuck with us, Remy. Jasper doesn't stand a chance. I wanna buy the Chipotle, the Apple Store. <laughs> what? What do you mean I can't? I don't have any money? That's stupid! I'm a burrow guard! Yeah, about that, you're not. Hamilton, I just try to buy more property, but the dude at the bank said I don't have any money! You don't. Mom and Dad have cut you off. 
What? They can't do that. They can, and they did. And they told me to kick you out of the house. What? Why? Because you're spending all of our money, and they hate it. Now get lost. But, like, I thought we were brothers, dude. We'll never be brothers. Get it through your thick head, okay? You're just like Remy, a poor loser that no one cares about. You'll never be a part of the family. Security! Yeah, brush. Take out the trash, okay? Yeah, whatever. No, no, stop! I can't be poor again! No! Shut up! I hate your voice! You're so dumb! I know this school really needs some help, Teacher Rufus. I know that's right. I tried to help, but they took burritos and guacamole off the menu, y'all. And that's just wrong. And they're officially going to cart the art program? Yes. And they may have to shut down the school too, y'all. Don't worry, Teacher Rufus. I think I know what to do. Hey, man, I got your text. What's up? I know you've been looking to invest some of your money into something good, right? Yeah, man. I saw how you affected the orphanage, and I thought doing something like that would be cool. Okay, so hear me out. What if you and I buy the school and give them all the funding it needs, just like we did with the orphanage? That's a good idea. I like it, but dude, this is going to be super expensive, and I don't have that much money left. Well, I'm open to suggestions. Well, we could get Dad involved. I'm open to every suggestion, but that one. Dude, Mom and Dad's reputation is in the gutter right now. You'd probably jump at this idea. That's exactly my point. It's not about that. It's about helping people. I know, it's just for the school. You don't have to forgive them or anything, but it might be our best option. Please, Rammies, think of the guacamole. Okay, okay, we'll go talk to him. Cynthia, send in my last meeting of the day, please, and do not ever let Quim be back into my building. Let's just get this over with. Boys, you're my last meeting? Yeah, we are. I'm so happy to see you two. Uh, how are you? Your mother and I miss you both. We're not here to make up with you, Norman. We have an idea to pitch to you, and I think you'll like it. The public school in town has basically lost all their money. They might shut down soon if something doesn't change. Okay, your point? The idea is easy, Dad. We buy the school with your help. We give it all the funding it needs, and it can still stay open. Plus, it would look good for your reputation, saving the school. The town will think you're a hero. Well, that does sound interesting, but this whole thing would make you happy, Remy? Kurt? It will. Oh, please. Don't pretend like you actually care about my happiness. You never did. Yes, I did. You only thought about yourself and what others thought about you. You just wanted to wipe away the guilt of taking my parents away from me. Hey, ease up, Remy. We're trying to make a deal here. I'm not making any deal until you boys come home. Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to work. We're not making a deal with the devil. Remy, you're upset. I get it. Think of the school, dude. It's the only way. No, this was a stupid idea. Let's go. We can do this without him and his money. Remy, wait. So, Dad, what's it going to be? Are you going to help us or not? Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry. I was adopted by the people who took you from me, and it hurt so much. I thought they really cared about me. I thought I found where I finally belong, but I was wrong. I don't know if I belong anywhere. That's not true, dude. You belong with us. Kurt, why did you bring them here? They have something to tell you. Yes, we do. Congratulations, Remy. Congratulations for what? I decided. I've gone through with buying the school and helping them out. Of course you are. It's going to save your reputation. No, we're doing this because it means so much to you. We hope it shows how much we really care about you. You guys don't care? You just want to fix your image. No, we don't care about that anymore. We can see that now and we know the truth. We were wrong to adopt you just to fix our image. But what happened was an accident, and we felt awful for what happened. And we realized that after we met you, because we cared about you, son. You actually mean it? We do, and we're sorry, Remy. Please, we hope you can forgive us. And maybe we can be a family again. Well, that's all I really wanted. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to the men behind this vision. My sons, Remy and Kurt! Thanks, Dad. And thank you everyone for coming. We're gonna make sure this school stays open and it's fully funded. And if it's ever in trouble again, I'll be here to help take care of it. Okay, I accept this monums, y'all. Cause this school gonna stay open for evers. And we gonna name this school a new name, y'all. Caldwell Academy! Yes! 
It should have been mine. All of it should be mine. I'm gonna cause a destruction and steal that money. <laughs> it's over, Jasper. Oh, I hate you, Remy. Yeah, you can hate me in jail. No! Congratulations, it's a beautiful baby boy. Fantastic, another trillionaire. The legacy continues. What is that? Oh no, it's criminals. They found out that you're here. Where are those stupid trillionaires? Quick, this trillionaire suite has a secret passage. Go now, save your family. Thank you, doctor. Hey, yo, where are the trillionaires? They aren't here, you monsters. You're too late. Hurry, darling. Pilot, get this plane out of here. We need to leave now. Go, go. This isn't safe. We shouldn't be flying in this. We have no choice, dear. Those robbers won't stop coming for us or our fortune. Ah! What was that? The plane is going down. No! John, John, where are you? <coughs> I'm here. Our plane is destroyed. Don't worry, Susan. We'll just buy another one. The baby. Where's our baby? He's over here. Oh, thank goodness. See, it takes a lot to hurt us trillionaires. I can't believe we're all okay. We're gonna name you Shane. About time, Mike. Yeah, we're fine. Just a plane crash. Send a helicopter, okay? Oh, let's go. It's my birthday. Yes, I've told you a hundred times. I want it to be Gucci or else it's worthless. Hey, Mom. Busy Shane, go bother your dad. I don't care if they don't make it. I want it. Hey, Dad. This is unacceptable! You test me again and I'll destroy you! Hey, Dad, hey. What, Shane? Can't you see I'm busy yelling at these idiots? Sorry, it's just my birthday. I thought maybe we could have breakfast together. Breakfast? I get my fuel from making deals, not food. Wait, how old are you now? Uh, Dad, I'm 16. I just got my license, remember? Oh, yeah. Come with me. It's time you start acting like a trillionaire. Happy birthday, Shane, or whatever. This is for me? Yeah, obviously. Do you see anyone else here? Oh, uh, Bert, about time. You better have good news or I'm gonna lose it. Man, I wish that my dad would just, like, hang out with me, especially on my birthday, but, I mean, this is pretty sweet. I gotta try it out. Whoa, this car's way too fast. Ah! Wow, you really suck at driving, Shane. Oh, I'm learning, man. I just got my license the other day. Well, learn better. Uh, okay, thanks. Are my, are my parents coming to pick me up? What? No! Your parents are busy trillionaires. They're sending a helicopter. I don't want a stupid helicopter. Where do you think you're wobbling off to? Away from you, man. Man, I can't believe they wouldn't even come pick me up. What's wrong with them? Ow! Oh, man, these stupid crutches. Dude, are you okay? What? No. I'm, uh, wait, Clark, what are you doing here, man? Aren't you working at the marina? I was, but I heard about your accident. I wanted to make sure you're okay. Thanks, man. It really means a lot. It's been a tough day. You're the only person that showed up. My parents didn't even bother to come. Oh, well, I'm sure they're just, like, busy or something. Too busy for my birthday, too busy for a hospital visit. Wait, it's your birthday? No way! Happy birthday, man! Yeah, thanks, dude. Hey, let's go get some dinner, my treat. Nah, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I do. You said you had a rough day. It's nothing a double cheeseburger can't fix. Yeah, actually, that sounds pretty good, man. I'll take you up on it. Thanks. You can just drop me off here. If my dad sees me with someone who isn't a trillionaire, he's gonna lose it. No offense, but your dad sounds like a jerk. Yeah, you're not wrong. But anyway, thanks for today, man. It was a really good birthday. Of course, dude, anytime. I'll catch you later. There he is. How dare you? What? You're mad at me? That was a $500,000 car you trashed like a poor who can't drive. You could have been seriously hurt. Well, you guys wouldn't have known anyway. You left me at the hospital on my birthday. You didn't even come and visit. Oh, we're busy, Shane. Yeah, of course you were. You're always too busy every single time. I want real parents, not just a bank account. You're bad mouthing our wealth and you're being annoying. Get out of my sight. Gladly. Thanks for a terrible birthday. Hey, Shane, you taking out your dad's yacht today? Nah, man, just came down and wanted to say thank you again for yesterday. You're a solid friend, dude. That was cool. Uh, what is this? Hey, you, why isn't my yacht clean yet? That's not my job. You're poor, aren't you? It sounds like a poor person's job to me. 
Shut up, Chad. Stop being such a jerk, man. Seriously, Shane? You're spending time with this loser? You're gonna catch poor. You're the real loser here, man. You treat people like garbage. Just shut up. You're an embarrassment to the trillionaire club, associating with the likes of him. Yeah, well, you're an embarrassment to humanity. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. In fact, you're kind of worse than everybody. Oh, well, honestly, whatever. I've got to go help my dad seal another billion dollar deal. Can't wait to spill the beans to your dad about your new friend. Man, that guy's the worst. Dude, this has been a really fun day. Thanks again, man. I should be thanking you for helping me out at work today. Made things so much easier having an extra set of hands. Yeah, of course. I've always loved the ocean, and I learned so much today. I'm glad I could pitch in. It was actually kind of fun. Dude, what the heck? You can't drive on my lawn? My parents are gonna kill me. Tell them to shut up. This should cover the cost of the shack that you call a home. Dad, what are you doing? This is my friend, say sorry. You should be apologizing to me. You embarrassed our family today. How, by having fun and hanging out with my friend? First, by befriending marina workers over potential business partners like Chad. Second, you actually worked at the marina? Yeah, it was fun. That is not what trillionaires do. It's below us. I don't care. No jobs beneath me. Today was a good day and I got to spend it with my friend. What's so bad about that? Enough of this. This ends now. Get in the car. No. I said get in now. <sighs> Sorry, Clark. He's just going to keep doing this until I go. It's okay. Your dad really is the worst. I heard that. Keep talking and you lose your marina job, poor loser. Yeah, whatever. You are, without a doubt, the worst trillionaire ever! I don't care about being a trillionaire. I want real friends, Dad. You sound stupid. Everybody wants to be a trillionaire, and money will be your friend. No, it won't. Just look at you. You're the poorest rich person I've ever met. What does that even mean? Well, you surround yourself with all this stuff, but you're not happy. You're always angry, and the only reason people tolerate you is because you're rich. You don't have anything. So what? I love being rich. What's sad? I want more out of life than just being rich. Ugh, Shane, you'll understand when you're older. There's nothing sad about this life. Dad, I just want a regular family. I want you to love me as much as you love your money. That's impossible. I love money the most. I am so tired of you whining. Tomorrow, you're spending the day with Chad. He already has a good knack for business. What? No way. Chad sucks. I'm not hanging out with that guy. I know he sucks, but I don't care. Whether you like it or not, you will learn to be a proper trillionaire. And I'm going to make sure of it. Oh, great. It's Shane. Why do I have to hang out with you? You're so lame. Shut up, Chad. Yeah, shut up, Chad. We owe his father a favor. Plus, they do have more money than us. We have to give Shane a lesson on how to truly be a trillionaire. Ugh, fine, whatever. Good, I leave it up to you then, son. Show Shane around or something. I've got work to do. So this is like my dad's office or whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is cool. Now shut up and come on. This is where all the losers work. Dude, you can't treat people like that. These people are working hard here. Oh my gosh, you're a dumb baby that knows nothing, huh? You've got to understand people don't matter. Only two things do, me and my money. All right, well, first of all, you don't even run a business. This is your dad's. And then you just parade around this office pretending your dad's money is yours. Because it is. No, it's not. And second, I'd rather be poor than turn into somebody like you. You're just a loser, Shane. A complete, utter waste. The real loser's you, man. All right, enough. Both of you are so annoying. Get out of my office now. Oh, gosh, thank goodness. Yeah, dude, and then he just called my dad. Like, this whole thing's a mess. Oh, man, you must be in so much trouble. Dude, that guy is the worst. Yo, what, what's that noise? I have no idea. Dad, what the heck? You two are trespassing on my property. This is my parents' house. Oh, great, the poor is talking to me. Ugh, not anymore, poor. I just bought it. What? No way, dude. They wouldn't sell our home. I offered them a cool million. They'll be fine. Dad, what is wrong with you? You embarrassed me for the last time time, Shane. I made an investment and this is a lesson for you. Being a trillionaire isn't easy. Please, Dad, don't destroy his house. Oh, I won't just destroy it. I'm going to turn it into rubble. And after that, you're off to a trillionaire-only charter school. No, please don't do this. This place is going to make a great parking lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clark. I'm so sorry, man. 
you have to be the worst trillionaire I've ever had the displeasure of teaching. Yeah, well, you're probably the worst trillionaire professor I ever had, so I guess we're even. I hate to say it, but you can graduate. Your dad, after all, did pay a lot of money to our school. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Well, thanks, I guess. Oh, my goodness. It's my mom and dad. Are you serious? Of course they aren't here. Is the big smelly baby looking for his mommy and daddy? <laughs> Looks like they ditched you again. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Well, my dad just got me a private jet. He's so proud of me. Wow, good for you, man. You graduated with the worst GPA in the school's history. Breaking records already. <laughs> You're so jealous of me. No, not really, man. The last two years being around you has been terrible. Well, brace yourself, loser, because your dad just bought my dad's company. Looks like we're going to be partners, huh? I don't care, Chad. Why are you talking to me? Well, you should care. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again really soon. My jet's waiting, though. Later, loser. Well, I guess I got to try to find an Uber. Either way, I got to get out of here. Mom? Dad? Hello? Anyone home? Classic. No one's here. Quimby, are you stupid? I told you to book that meeting at 2.14, not 2.15. Now my whole schedule is off. Sweetie, I'm glad you're home. Oh, yeah, hey, guys. You'll do what I tell you or you're fired, Quimby. Cool, you're back. So did you graduate or did they finally kick you out? I graduated. Oh, honey, I'm so thrilled. Yeah, that's good news. Now that you're a grown-up, it's time for you to learn the ropes of the family business. No, I'm good. I'm going to do something else. What does that even mean? Means I don't want to learn your business. I want to make my own. Shane. Well then, if that's your choice, your bill for the trillionaire school is $2 million. What? You didn't think that luxurious education came for free, did you? But you already paid for the tuition and you made me go to that school. I would have gone somewhere else. You either step up and learn the family business or pay me back the 2 million. That's the deal, take it or leave it. I don't have that kind of money, I'm broke. Well, then good thing you've got a job now. Your first day's tomorrow. Travis, this better be good news or I'll make sure you never work in this town again. Man, this is so messed up. My dad's making me work in this parking lot where Clark's house used to be. So if you're like a trillionaire at all, why are you out here working in the lot? I'm just trying to pay my dad back for school. Oh, right. Your dad owns this place, doesn't he? Jenkins, I don't pay you to stand around. I pay you to work. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. It's day one, Shane, and you're already distracting my employees and ruining productivity. You're just asking me a question, Dad. You know, like being a human being. No, no, I don't think that's right. You need to stop treating people like dirt. And you need to start acting like a trillionaire. No more low common worker stuff. Learn the business from me and your debt will be paid off. Ugh, great. It's Quimby. I need to take this. Make it fast, you dumb moron. What? What do you mean they're late? Man, this just feels so weird. I... I can't stop thinking about Clark. Maybe I should try to go see him after work. Shane, whoa, man, I haven't seen you in like two years. Yeah, I know, man, it's been a while. Not since your dad, you know, destroyed my childhood home. Yeah, I know, dude, I'm so sorry about that. My dad's such a jerk. And then when he sent me to the trillionaire school, he didn't give me a phone. Yeah, well, it was a pretty messed up thing to do, man. So what brings you here now after all this time? Dude, I miss hanging out with you. I just want to be friends again. I missed you a lot too, man. You know, I'd love to hang out with you. You still working at the marina? Nah, not anymore. I've been kind of working on my own business idea. I've had it for a while. Well, that's awesome. Well, I mean, if you need a job in the meantime, you can work at my dad's company, I guess. It would give you some money until your business takes off. Thanks for the offer, but I could never work for your dad, Shane. I can forgive you for what happened, but not him. Yeah, I totally get it. All right, you did all the dumb worker stuff. Now it's time for you to start working in the office. Uh, aren't you going to show me around? Show you around? What? No. No, I'm far too busy for that. Figure it out yourself. There's no way I'm going to be working with you. Oh, great. Just what I needed. You're such a loser idiot. You don't even know how to act rich like me. Loser idiot? Great insult, man. Just great insult. Y'all, well, that's what you are. You chill out. If it helps, I actually think you're a loser. And trust me, I don't want to work here as much as you don't want me here. Well, then why don't you just quit and solve both our problems? You're ruining my life. I can't. I owe my dad money. So I'm going to have to tough it out. I suggest you do the same. Oh, money? What does that even mean? 
Gosh, man, do you even hear yourself talk? Yeah, I hear myself talk all the time. Don't you ever get sick of it? No, shut up. Mark my words, Shane. I'm going to make your life miserable for working here. You don't know what's coming. Man, I can't believe my dad wants all this done by the end of the day. I'm going to be here for like another 10 hours. Hey, Shane. Just wanted to apologize for how I acted earlier. Hold on, what? Yeah, I was mean. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. I actually think you're going to be a great addition to the team. Wow, thanks. In fact, I got a surprise for you in the lobby. Go check it out. Wow, cool, man. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you fell for it. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. Of course, he's just trying to prank me. Shane, what is wrong with you? One day in this office and you're already destroying company property. What? I didn't break it. The computer was fine when I left the room. So it just magically broke itself. You must think I'm an idiot. No, it must have been Chad. You owe me two million dollars. And now I'm going to add on whatever this computer thing costs. Just get back to work and finish that project. How am I supposed to work on the project? I don't have a computer. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Figure it out. I've always loved the water and working on these boats. It's so peaceful here. You can see why, man. I love it here, too. It's sick. You know, my business idea is to sell boats. I think there's so much potential there. Dude, it sounds so much better than working with my dad. I mean, it's my dream. I've had it for a long time. Been saving for a while, but I need more capital if I really want to make this successful. How about this? I've saved a bunch of money. My dad pays me pretty good. What if I just invested that money I saved and put it into your business? But won't your dad be mad at you for technically giving me money? Yeah, probably, but he's always mad at me. Well, I know that, but I mean, you owe him money. It's going to make him double mad. Well, if we can make this business work, I can pay him back. Then he's got nothing to say. Yo, loser. Still working at the marina? I thought you moved on from this dump. Shut up, Chad. Not everybody just has everything handed to them like you, okay? Well, that's a shame because it's kind of awesome. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Poor Z. Dude, I'm not going to listen to this guy who's never worked a single day in his life. Actually, I do work at a real job. This is a real job. No, it's not. This is where my dad parks his boat. A boat garage. It's a poor person's job. It's just a small step in my business. Just wait and see what happens, dude. Kill whatever chumps. While you're dreaming, I'll be on my dad's yacht. How could you, Shane? Well, it wasn't that hard. Investing in a stupid company while you owe me money? Have I taught you nothing? Well, you did teach me to take advantage of investment opportunities, Dad. And Clark has potential. You don't know what he's capable of. Potential? If that poor had any potential, he'd already be rich, not peddling some boats at a marina. It's enough. He's my friend, okay? He's a person. Barely, he's a poor person. Well, look, I'm starting this business with Clark. It's way better than sitting in that office all day. It's cold in there anyway. I like being outside. You shut your dumb mouth. It's not cold. It's called air conditioning. And that's what rich people have. If you keep making foolish decisions like this, you're not going to have a job with me for any longer. Really? You're going to fire me? If you want to keep your job, you'll stop helping Clark's dumb baby dreams. Well, I can't make any promises, Dad. I know what I want to do, and it's not working for you. Great. Bert, how many times do I need to tell you? I expect good news. This all looks pretty nice and stuff, but with a price like this, how can I be sure? Clark and I fixed this boat up ourselves. That's why we can offer it at a much more affordable rate than other people. Exactly. And we've tested it ourselves a hundred times. It's completely safe. Quality and safety are our top priority. Quality and safety sound pretty good. You guys also seem kind of smart. So here, take this money. Thanks for the boat, man. Well, thanks for trusting us. Enjoy it. Dude, we make an amazing team. We nailed that sale. Yeah, we did. First the many, dude. Dude, and I want to help you out with the debt you owe your dad. Let's split the profits from this. Wait, really, man? I mean, you found this first boat, and you did most of the work. Yeah, but you helped. And you really made the sale, not me. I kind of hate talking to people. Here, take this. Wow, thanks, dude. I'm going to start paying off my dad now. It's going to be awesome. Look, I know you just invested in me first, but why don't you and I be business partners? Let's make this official. Dude, I would love that. That sounds awesome. Awesome. And I just got a lead on a brand new boat to fix. So we're going to be making a whole lot of money real soon. 
Shane, are you going to admit it to me or are we going to play a dumb little game? What are you talking about? Don't play stupid, man, even though you naturally are. Oh. Chad, cut it out. Why are you so upset, Dad? How much money have you been stealing from this company? None. Why would I ever take money from this company? Obviously to fund your friend's stupid boating business. No, that's not true. I put in all the money that I earned and saved on my own. Well, then where has all my money been going? There are millions of dollars missing from our company's accounts. You're going to pay for this. I'm your son. Do you really think I'd steal from my own family? Yeah, you did. And you made a terrible investment. That's what I said, Thad. It's ch Chad, sir? I've had enough of both of you. I quit. Good. Get out. And remember, you still owe me $2 million. Yeah, you'll get your money, Dad. That's all you ever care about anyway. Dude, another boat sold. That's the 10th one this week. I know. This business is really starting to take off. I made enough money to pay off my dad's debt already. I thought it would have taken me way longer. We're on to something good here, dude. If we keep this up, this business is going to be huge. Clark! Hey, Clark! What do you want, Chad? I want you to do your job. Wash my boat. No! Chad, I don't work here anymore. We're dropping off the boats that we sold. Every time you see me, you ask me to wash your boat. That's never been my job. It's not. And you guys are selling your dumb boat still? Oh my gosh, it's so sad. Not really, man. Our business is doing great. Way better than you'd think. Sure, whatever. So if you're not going to wash my boat, who is? You know, some people wash their boats themselves. Ew! Literally, you're so disgusting, Shane! Is that all of it? Yeah, Dad, I made sure that was all of it. Including interest? Yes, including interest. Just take the money. Oh, I must admit, I really didn't think you were going to be able to pull this off on your own. It's because you always underestimate me. You always judge me for not acting and being exactly like you. You're right, I did. And you're nothing like me, Shane. But I've got to say, you've made yourself into a mediocre business person. Thanks, I know coming from you, that was actually a genuine compliment. Why don't you just come back and work for me again? With that drive that you've got and what you've learned, you'd be unstoppable. Nah, I'm good. I just want to do my own thing with Clark. Well, uh, at least come back home. It's empty without you here. The staff sucks and your mom is always out with her friends. No, I don't think so, Dad. I need to keep making it on my own. Very well, then. Good luck, uh, I guess. Thanks, Dad. So, do you want to take it? I mean, it's a really beautiful boat. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. I mean, you just seem like a trustworthy guy, Shane. No, wait! You can't buy this boat! Chad, go away! Hey, 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 wait, hold on a second. What's this guy talking about? Look, you need to trust me on this. From one rich guy to another, Shane's boats, they're terrible! They're not safe! But he said they were! They are, I promise! Chad, stop lying and get out of here! You have to believe me, dude! These boats sink all the time! Do rich people lie to other rich people? What? Of course they do! They do it all the time! Especially you, Chad! Well, this other rich guy does make a point, and you're not rich like us, so I trust him! Chad, you've crossed the line, man. Now I'm actually getting mad. Well, you and your poor pathetic friend have another thing coming. And get used to being mad. I heard poor people are all mad all the time. You're literally the worst person in the world. Yeah, well, at least I'm rich. Oh. I'm not going to let him get away with this. No one's going to ruin this business. I'm so sorry, dude. Chad totally ruined this for us. No, it's just one sale, man. We're going to have plenty more opportunities. You're right. Things are going smoothly. I'm just worried Chad's gonna keep trying to mess with us. Ah, forget him. Speaking of opportunities, I got a lead. There's a big fancy party happening this weekend. Dude, I bet a ton of rich people will be looking for boats. Exactly. So we need to get ourselves in there. And who knows, maybe we can land a few mega sales. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's just hope Chad doesn't show up. Whoa, this party's super fancy. I bet my dad's here somewhere. Hey, I recognize you. Oh, yeah, you probably know my dad, the trillionaire. Nah, nah, I think you sold a boat to my friend, man. He's been talking about how awesome that thing is. He said that the custom work you did to it was sick. Oh, really? That's awesome. Well, I've got a bunch more that I'm trying to sell. Yeah, excellent. 
I've been on the market for a new boat for a while. My old one's like kind of old, you know? <laughs> so I sank it by accident last week. I wasn't paying attention, but like, whatever. I need a new boat, man. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Someone probably should have been driving the yacht, you know? Hey, Barnabas, you can't buy a boat from this idiot. They're the worst on the market. Chad, when will you get a life, dude? It's really sad. You have to trust me, dude. I'm rich like you. What? I have no idea who you are, man. How'd you even get in here? Also, like, who cares if you have money or not? It doesn't define your character. Well, it should. Yo, is this guy serious? You better get out of here before I call security, man. No, don't do that. I I'll go. Gosh, man, that guy is terrible. Anyway, where were we? Well, look, man, I know you were talking about you want a new boat. We got plenty of yachts if you want to come look at them. Nah, I don't need to look at it, man. You seem like you're cool. My buddy liked the one that you sold him. Let's just buy the boat right now. Just wire you the money, bruh. Man, I can't believe it's my birthday again. I never thought I'd be where I am now. It's wild how fast time goes by and how much you can accomplish if you really work hard. Shane! Shane! Dad, why are you here? Well, I, uh, I wanted to talk about how well you've been doing with your business. Got to admit, I didn't know you had it in you. Oh, thanks. Is this, uh, is this a house? It's awfully small to be a house, isn't it? Was there anything you wanted to say to me? Why are you in my house? Look, I'm not sure what your attitude's about. You just walked into my house. Did you come here to talk business or what? Well, yes, business is always on my mind. Do you think I'd just come to this tiny little house for fun? Well, it is my birthday, Dad, so clearly you didn't remember. Oh my gosh, cry about it some more, Shane. I don't remember small things like that. They're irrelevant. The day I was born is irrelevant? All right, man, whatever. Anyway, my time is valuable, and I'm sick of spending it here in this closet you call a home. Wow, father of the year over here, huh? I want to discuss expanding my business. I think a partnership with you could be really beneficial for us, meaning me. No, Dad, I don't want that. I don't want you as a business partner. I want you as my father. You've got one. You just said I was father of the year. It was a joke. You're a terrible father. You've always been too busy with your work, your deals, your empire. You never thought about me, and you step on everybody. You treat everybody like trash. That's just the trillionaire way. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I don't care about the trillionaire way. What I want right now is for you to just leave me alone. It's my birthday. I've got plans. Dude, did you ever think we'd be standing here? Look at all this. All those boats. We sold every single one of them. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't think this was going to happen when I was scrubbing the decks of other people's yachts for video game money. That's for sure. Man, I'm really happy that we did this together. Me too, man. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I don't think any of this would have really happened. The best part is, is we did it on our own. We didn't take my dad's interference or help. Everything we did was because of hard work. Yeah, it feels really accomplishing standing here now. Thanks, Clark. You're a great friend. Thanks for always being there for me. No, it's not fair. Shane thinks he can get everything through hard work. Oh, it's so stupid. Well, he wants to be richer than me. He wants to make me look stupid. Then this whole family is going to pay for this. Oh, sweet. Now I've got all his dad's money. It's mine. <laughs> I need to get out of the country fast. Huh, what's this? Did the deal go through? What? What the heck is this? My bank account is zero dollars? That's impossible! I've been robbed! Bert, where's all my money? Shane! Shane! Oh, phew, there you are. Thank goodness I found you in this closet. What is it, Dad? I need your help, right now! My help? What are you talking about? Why? Chad stole all the money from my accounts! All of it! You're a trillionaire. Surely you can figure it out yourself, right? You don't get it, Shane. He took everything from me. I'm... I'm... Poor? Don't you ever call me that again! How dare you! <laughs> Look, I'll do what I can to help you. But you built your empire from the ground up. You can probably figure this out yourself, too. I know I haven't been the best father to you, and I'm sorry for that. I should have listened to you about Chad from the beginning means a lot. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, I never thought I'd be broke, but here we are. I'll do my best to help you fix this. But you need to work on being my dad, not just a business partner. I understand, and I agree. I'm just gonna take my dad's boat. I don't even care. I'll repay him with my trillions of dollars. Oh, let him cry about it, stupid dad. You're not going anywhere with my dad's money. You? 
How did you find me? It was pretty easy. You tweeted about all the money you just got randomly going to cruise around the world. Whatever. You suck, Shane. I know how to use all this money so much better than you and your dad. That money was never mine, and it's definitely not yours. Shut up. It's mine now. So get off my boat, idiot. Ah! Ah! Rufus, he's in here. Is this the little man's right here? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yes. Okay. You under arrest now, y'all. You going to Yale. Well done, my love. Another trillionaire in the family. Conrad is going to be so happy to meet his new brother. Let's name him Colin. Oh, we hit something. The yacht is going down. Every man for themselves. Oh, I'm definitely going to get fired for this. Take the baby and make sure he's safe. The yacht's going down. Ah, help! Rachel? Rachel! No. No! I'm so sorry, Colin. Looks like it's just us now. A helicopter! Over here! We're over here! Thank goodness. Don't worry, son. We're going home. Thanks for the ride, Leonard. Take care, sir. My dad! I'm so happy you're home. I, I want to go buy new video games. Uh, hey, hey, where's mom? Unfortunately, son, our yacht sank. She didn't survive. What? Mom is gone? Forever? Yes, I'm... I'm so sorry. Oh, it, who's that? Conrad, meet your new baby brother, Colin. What? I don't want a brother. What do you mean? He killed Mom. I hate him. Conrad Goldman, he did not kill your mother. It was that penniless captain I hired. Stupid poor person. Whatever. I still don't like him. And I'm not sharing any of my money with him either. We're trillionaires. There's more than enough for everyone. We need to stick together. Especially now. Ugh, I don't care. I never want this stupid brother. Now take me to the store. I'm gonna buy a video game. Now! You know, Colin, you really should make some friends. Ugh, I have friends, Dad. Imaginary ones don't count. Ha ha, very funny. Whoa! Hey, what the heck is this guy doing? Hand over all your money or you're coming with me! Dad, what is happening? Another robber. Great, fourth one this week. Ah! Hold on tight! <laughs> oh no you don't! You can't escape me! Dad, he's following us! Don't worry, I've gotten really good at this by now. I think I lost them. Whew. Who was that? Just someone after our money again. When you're a trillionaire, you learn that you can only really trust your family and other rich people. But why? Being this rich puts a target on our backs. Others are gonna try to exploit you for your money. We live a difficult life. All right, now go on and have fun at the park. You're just gonna leave me here after what just happened? You'll be fine. The park is right across the street. I need to talk to the police about this. Well, maybe he's right. I don't really have any friends. Maybe I can find some here. Hey, wait. I know that guy. Hey, Max. Max, hey. I'm Colin, you know, from school. Ugh, yeah, I know who you are, trillionaire boy. Right, um, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. Maybe we could be friends? Ugh, as if. No one wants to be friends with a trillionaire loser like you. So what if I'm a trillionaire? My money doesn't make me who I am. I'm just trying to make friends here. Well, it's not gonna be me. I guess not. You know what? I don't want to be friends with mean people anyways. Is that right? Ugh! Ow! You suck! Hey, leave him alone. Ah! Oh, my face! Sarah, what is wrong with you? You're my problem, Max. Now get lost. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks. Don't mention it. Max is just a big dumb bully. He needs to be taught a lesson anyways. Hey, we're in the same math class, right? Oh, right. I, um, I never really noticed. Uh, I just hate math so much. Well, I'm actually pretty good at it. If you ever need help, just let me know. Really? That would be amazing. Do you want to come over later? Maybe we can study together. We've got the big test on Friday. Sure thing, trillionaire boy. Hey, Conrad, what's up? Ugh. Listen, loser, don't ever talk to me again. Dude, what is your deal? Why do you hate me so much? You ruined my life. Everything was perfect before you were born. I ruined your life? You're the reason why mom is gone. And you're going to take half of dad's money when he's gone too. It's not my fault mom died. Our yacht sank. And I don't want to take dad's money. <laughs> of course you do. Everyone does. But I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. 
Hey, I can hear you from inside. Why are you two always fighting? Because he sucks, Dad, and I hate him. I didn't do anything. I just said hi to him. Well, I've had enough of this. You two need to learn to get along. We're trillionaires. Family is the only people who we can trust. This ends right now. You two are going to spend time together today and enjoy it. Dad, please, no. You two need to learn to be brothers. I'm so sick of this. So I guess we're stuck together. Yeah, I hate it. So what do you want to do? Ugh, I don't know. Oh, we need to just shut Dad up. Go to the mall or something. All right, I guess that sounds good. Come on, get in. And don't touch anything. All right, we're here. So what do you want to do? I mean, we could go to the arcade or maybe go to the food court. Ugh, I don't know. You figure it out. We're supposed to do this together, Conrad. Nah, that's lame. I'm going to hang out with my rich friends. You're joking, right? See ya, loser. Conrad! Ugh! I should have known better. I had the most selfish brother in the entire world. Better call dad to come pick me up. Well, what do we have here? Your fancy phone, huh? Is this the rich loser you were talking about? <laughs> yup, this is him, the trillionaire. Knock it off, Max. Just give me my phone back. Nah, I think I'll keep this. Your stupid girlfriend isn't here to save you now. I bet he's got lots of money on him, too. Let's get him. No. Wait, back off, guys. Leave me alone. Give us some money, rich boy. Yeah, I want a G-Wagon. Ugh, where'd he go? You lost him. Shut up, idiot. You lost him. Wait, I, uh, I think he's this way. Oh, that was way too close. Dad was right. People will always be after my money. I need to go home. <sighs> Only a few more miles to go, I think. Oh, man, I don't even know where I am. Holland? What are you doing out here? This is the poor part of town. I was just trying to find my way home. Why didn't you call me? I would have sent a car for you. I would have, but some bullies at the mall stole my phone. Well, that should teach you a lesson. You shouldn't have run away from me at the mall, Colin. What are you talking about? None of this would have happened if you just stayed with me. I don't know why he did it, Dad. I tried to stop him, but I don't know. No, no more lies, Conrad. You left me there at the mall alone. I wouldn't have been in that situation if it wasn't for you. What? Is this true? Dad, he's lying to you. You have to believe me. Sadly, Conrad, I don't believe a single word you said because you're a terrible liar. Oh, and you're grounded. What? No, I'm not. Your little brother looks stupid, and I have to buy him a new phone now. No more driving Lamborghinis for a month. Now let's go home. You're going to regret telling Dad, loser. No, no, no. You have to cross multiply first, then divide. Oh, okay. I think I got it now. I hope so. The final is coming up next week. Hey, thanks again for helping me with all this math homework. You are so smart, Sarah. It's okay. You don't need to thank me. I actually really like hanging out with you. You do? Of course I do. Isn't it obvious? Well then, uh, actually, I was thinking, would you want to hang out and go see a movie sometime? You know instead of studying? Yeah, I love to. Colin, can you come here for a moment now? Uh, yeah, sure thing. One second, Sarah. What's up, Dad? You can't be going out with that girl. What? Why not? What if people saw you two together? She isn't like us. She's not rich. She doesn't belong to any exclusive clubs. She's not even wearing designer clothes. You can't trust her. We can totally trust her, Dad. I've known Sarah for six years. She's like my best friend. She's fine as your friend and someone that will help you with your schoolwork, but not someone you should be going on a date with. Fine, I'll take her home. No! Have one of our drivers take her home. I don't want people in our neighborhood seeing you with a poor person. Ugh, whatever, Dad. I am so excited to see the new Shane Plays movie. Same. I've heard it's going to be amazing. This is going to be the best date ever. I think you might be right. What the heck do you think you're doing? Oh, great. You are so dead. We're just going to see a movie, Conrad. Mind your own business. You're going to see a movie with a poor person? <laughs> You're such a jerk, Conrad. No wonder why you don't have any friends. I don't care what you think. You're poor and pathetic. You don't even deserve to breathe the same air as me. You can't talk to her like that. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. And remember this, you're making a major
major mistake, Colin, and you're going to regret it. Are you worried about him? No, he's just being Conrad. Let's not let him ruin our night. Come on, let's go see this movie. I heard Officer Rufus is in it. I am so disappointed with you. What did I do? You went on a date with that poor girl after I told you not to. I told you, Dad, he didn't listen. And he's just going to get used for our money. You both don't know what you're talking about. Sarah likes me for who I am, not because we're trillionaires. I already told you, we can't trust normal people. Not everyone is after our money. There are good people still out there, and they aren't necessarily rich. No, no, I don't think that's right. Oh, look, Dad, he's already caught poor. He's even thinking like a poor. Maybe you should write him out of the will, Dad. He doesn't deserve our fortune. Okay, enough. I won't be writing anyone out of my will, but it's high time you started to make friends with your own kind, Colin. You're going to a private school for rich kids only. First thing in the morning. What? I am so proud of you, son. You finished trillionaire school and learned all the ins and outs of the trillionaire world. To be honest, Dad, I hated it. Being surrounded by snobby rich kids and teachers, it sucked. And their ideas on poor people are just really jaded. Well, maybe you just need more time to let the lesson sink in, that's all. I think it's time you join me in the family business. I'm really excited to work with you, Dad, but I'm not sure if business is really what I'm best at. Nonsense! It's in your blood! You're a goldman! It's what we do! I just don't think business is my thing. Well, your brother's done an incredible job, and I know you will too. Oh yeah? How is Conrad? I haven't seen him or heard from him since you sent me here. Well, actually, I've got a surprise for you. Just get in the car. I've got to show you. Okay. Look at this, huh? I'm so happy to have my sons back together. You know, you're right, Dad. It feels good to finally get some time with my brother. Good to see you, Colin. Yeah, it's uh, good to see you, too. Colin, you're going to work under Conrad and learn the business from him. Is this the surprise you were telling me about? It is! Now you're going to be working with your brother. Look, I've got a meeting and I need to run. Make money, boys! So, what exactly am I going to be doing here? Failing, of course. What are you talking about? Do you really think I want you working here? You're nothing to me. I'm going to make sure that you fail and Dad hates you. I really thought you might have changed for a split second. But you know, you're still the same old Conrad. I'm your boss now. So listen, your first assignment is to go to one of our top clients and try to pitch them the new deal. Okay, sure. What new deal am I pitching exactly? I can't do everything for you, Colin. Mikey, you are literally the worst assistant in the world. Oh, I, uh, I did my best. Oh, I did my best. Your best is trash. I would fire you if my dad didn't need an errand boy. I, I didn't know they'd put an extra sugar in your coffee. Just get me a new one. Oh, stupid. Dude, you can't treat people this way. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, I am. Dad would be so mad if he knew you were doing this. I don't care. This guy is a sad, poor loser. You seriously know nothing about being a trillionaire. Having money doesn't mean you can just walk all over people and act this way. Oh, uh, yeah, it does actually. Mikey, what are you still doing here? Go get me another coffee. Oh man, my favorite shirt's ruined. Now I look like an idiot. I'm really sorry about my brother. Here, use this to get a new shirt, okay? Uh, thanks, but why are you being so nice? Because why not? Conrad treats me like dirt and uh, no offense, your dad does too. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry for that, but I think you should always treat people with compassion. You can't be serious. We already have a deal with your company. Why are you here again? Oh, I'm sorry, doctor, but my boss told me to come down here and make you a new offer. An offer to be annoying and stupid? You know, I might just cancel our deal because of you. Good day, sir. Wow, that guy has serious anger issues. Colin did this on purpose. Just to make me look stupid. I, I know it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no way. Hey, Sarah. Colin, I haven't seen you in 10 years. How can you just say hi? Uh, I'm sorry for what happened, Sarah. My dad shipped me off to like a trillionaire boarding school and he didn't give me a chance to talk to you. I never wanted to leave things the way we did. Trillionaire school? Huh. I didn't know that's what happened. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I totally get it. How have you been, though? 
Look, you're finally a doctor, huh? Yeah, I graduated top of my class and have been saving a lot of people at the hospital. That's great! I'm really happy for you. Say, would you want to get a coffee after work and catch up? I've missed you a lot. Sure, why not? I would love to. Colin Goldman, get over here right now! What's wrong now, Dad? I just got off the phone with Dr. Jones. How could you do something so foolish with one of our biggest deals? I was just doing what Conrad told me to do. Stop blaming your brother. You need to take responsibility for your own actions. You're a grown man now. Act like it. I'm telling you, Dad, it wasn't my fault. He sent me there. He set me up. Conrad has made our company a lot of money. He's not the one to blame here, you are. Well, how am I supposed to succeed if Conrad's trying to set me up for failure? I don't want to hear another word of this ridiculousness. You two are brothers, and you will run this business after I'm gone. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Dad. Good, now leave me alone. It's so great to be going out again. I feel the same way. You know, I heard this place was actually pretty good. Oh no, 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 no. What the heck are you doing, Colin? Seriously, man, let me live my life. You're such an annoying brat. See, you haven't changed, Conrad. You're still one of the worst human beings I have ever met. Do you know how mad dad is going to be when he hears you're still going out with this poor girl? I don't care what he thinks, and Sarah isn't poor. Yeah, seriously, you don't know me at all. If you don't have a trillion dollars, you're poor. I didn't make the rules. You know what? Whatever. Just leave us and let us enjoy the rest of our night. Hey, excuse me. I'm the owner of this restaurant. Is there a problem over here? <laughs> I'll show you who's poor. I want to buy this restaurant. Here's a billion dollars. Sold. The restaurant's yours. I'm rich. <laughs> and now, as the new owner, I'm going to make a new rule. You two are banned and never allowed back. Security! Ugh, don't bother. We're going somewhere else. Come on, Sarah. Gladly. How many times do I need to tell you you're not allowed to date this normal poor girl? I am not poor. Dad, Sarah is a doctor. Doctors are poor compared to us. I really don't care what you think. I'm going to date her anyway. She just wants to date you for your money. I've seen it before. All you millionaires are the same. It's disgusting. Sarah has her own career and her own money. I don't want her money and she doesn't want any of mine. And she doesn't need it either. I have all the money I could ever need and I don't care. I like your son and nothing is going to change that. Well, a doctor isn't a trillionaire, but they do get paid well enough. I guess it's acceptable for you to date her. Wow, great. Thanks, Dad. I didn't ask and I wasn't going to anyways. You heard me. I want you to make this go away right now. I'm on it, boss. Don't you worry. Uh, who the heck was that? <laughs> None of your business, so don't worry about it. Does dad know you're giving money to sketchy people in the office? I told you it's none of your business. I've made us a lot of money. Dad needs to know about this, and I'm going to tell him after my wedding. Oh, is that today? Yeah, and despite of how big of a jerk you are, you're still my brother, and I want you to be there. I don't want to go to your pathetic loser wedding to a poor person. You're lucky I even let you keep your job. Well, if you don't want to go, then I guess that's your loss. I'd rather burn my money than see you let a poor person into our family. You can't still be this self-centered around money. Money is everything. Without it, you would be nothing. You know what? Whatever, dude. I have my wedding to get to. Have fun being here on your own. Sarah, do you take Colin to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And Colin, do you take Sarah to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you husband and wife. This is the happiest day of my life. Mine too. Well done. Well done, the two of you. I'm very proud of you, Colin. And I'm happy to have you join our family, Sarah. Sorry I was a total, utter jerk before. I'm happy that your family finally accepted me. Yeah, it's great that we all got to share this moment together. I just wish your brother was here. You know how he is. Selfish as usual. I want to give you both your wedding gift. Uh, uh. Dad, are you okay? I'm I'm fine. It's a... Uh, uh. Dad! Oh no! Sarah, what's happening? I think he's having a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 911? Yes. We need an ambulance. My dad is having a heart attack. Please, hurry! Whoa. 
What happened? You had a heart attack, Dad. You're on life support. Where's Conrad? I've been calling him, but he won't pick up. Ugh, well, forget it. You know, I built my fortune for both of you. For my sons to share and divide equally. I know, Dad, you've told me that before. But I doubt Conrad will go along with it. I don't care what he thinks, this is my wish! Split the fortune, and split the business too. Promise? I promise. And Colin, I want to apologize for keeping you away from Sarah. I was taken advantage of many times and thought it could happen to you. You were just doing what you thought was right, and I understand that now. What do you want me to do about Conrad? Do everything you can to get along with him. You two are all each other have left. I'm sorry. I love you, son. Dad? Dad! No! You're sick, Conrad! How could you not even bother to show up when our own father was dying? It was sad, yeah, but I was busy. Too busy to be with Dad? Yes, I was. Plus, Dad would want me to keep the business running. This isn't just your company anymore. Dad wanted us to work together and repair our relationship. He told me we're gonna split everything. Oh, I knew this would happen. The moment you were born, I knew I had to give you half of everything that's mine. It's not about the money, Conrad. It's about having our family together. Well, I don't care about being together. I don't want you managing the company. Why not? Because you're stupid, inexperienced, and emotional. But it seems I have no choice, do I? Just give it a try, Conrad, please. For dad. <sighs> Fine, I guess. We'll work together. Now leave me alone. I have a meeting in five. <sighs> Unbelievable. It's so nice to finally get out of the house for a date night. I know. It's been so long since we've done this. What the? Ah! Sarah. Sarah, are you okay? I'm okay. W what's happening? Oh, I think it could be a robber. Come on. Hey, stop running. <laughs> Nowhere to run now. You're coming with me. I'll go with you willingly. Just leave my wife alone. <laughs> I'm not after you. Huh. Ugh. Colin, no. Let me go. No. Ow. Ugh. What happened? Where's my wife? Oh, you, you took a pretty good hit to the head. You're lucky to be alive. I need to find Sarah. Where is she? Oh, yeah. About that. Here you go. If you want to see your wife again, hand over your entire fortune. Come alone. Don't call the police or else. They kidnap my wife for ransom? You can't give that money away, Colin. What? I have to. What are you even doing here? That is my money, our family fortune. And you're just going to give it to some poor criminal? I don't care what you think. There are things way more important than our money. Like what? Like my wife. Oh, man. If you do this, you're out of the business. I won't allow the company to be run by such a poor loser. Fine. I don't care. I'm going to save my wife. Ha! Huh. Good. All according to plan. Are you sure you won't follow? Positive. I didn't call the police, just like your note said. Uh, good. Is that all of it? This is all the money and the deed to half the estate, everything. <laughs> Hand it over. Here, take it, scumbag. <laughs> good. Looks like this is everything. Oh, I'm a trillionaire. Now, where is my wife? Oh, yeah. Uh, here you go. Colin! Sarah, thank goodness. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> So happy to have you back. Are you okay? I was a little scared, but I knew you would save me. I had to hand over all of my inheritance, all our money. I gave him everything, the fortune, the estate, even my share of the company. What are you gonna do now that you don't have the family business? I'm gonna start my own company and I'll run it the way I want to. If that's what you wanna do, I've got your back. Thanks, love. I'm just so happy you're okay. Colin, I've been wanting to tell you something. I'm pregnant. Wait, really? I've always wanted to have a family with you. Me too. Thanks for taking me to work, Dad. Of course, Chris. You know, when I was your age, my dad started showing me the ropes of this business. Did Grandpa have an office like this? Sort of. At the time, his business was way more successful than mine. Dad, you're doing great. You did this on your own, and you're expanding into multiple cities. It's been a long road and a tough journey, but we've got more room to grow. I'm going to be a trillionaire again. Just wait and see. Colin, there you are. I need your help. 
I haven't seen you in 15 years, Conrad. You know you have a nephew now? Uh, yeah. Hi, Uncle Conrad. Ugh, don't call me that. Wow, and you're still the same. What do you need now? Family business has been losing money for a while. Well, as Dad would tell us, figure it out. Oh, I've been watching you for a bit, and you're doing great. With the success of your company, it only makes sense for us to merge. You can rejoin the family business. I don't want to join you. I'm making this company on my own, and I'm making it for my son. I don't have time for your stupid little child. Help me. Don't talk about my son like that. You know what? We're done with this conversation. Leave. Now. Ugh, fine. But you're making a big mistake, Colin. Oh, this is unacceptable, Mikey! I'm sorry? Because of you, we had to lay off most of the company and sell all of our stuff! I had to sell my private jet! How is that any of my fault? I'm just your assistant. I don't know, but it sounds like a poor idiot issue. You know, I'm the last employee you have. So? I've tried to help you, and this is how you repay me? I'm repaying you by not firing you right this second. That's okay. I don't want to work here anyway. I quit! Huh? You can't quit! Yes, I can. And I'm going to go tell your brother that you kidnapped his wife. Go for it. It won't matter anyway. Get out of my sight, Mikey. Gladly. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. Mikey, why are you here? I've already told Conrad I'm not going to be working with him, so no matter what deal you have, I'm not signing it. I quit the company. I'm tired of the way Conrad treats me. He's mean! Well, then why are you here, then? I needed to tell you the truth. Conrad was the one who set up the kidnapping, so he could take all of your money for himself. I never thought he could do something so terrible. Mikey, thanks for letting us know. Of course. And, uh, do you need a new assistant for your company? Actually... I think I could really use one. You want a job? Please, I have a family now and I could really use some money. You always did a great job for my father. The job is yours. Thanks, Colin. You're not gonna regret this, thank you. So your brother kidnapped me and stole your fortune. What are we gonna do now? We need to go to the police. He had my wife kidnapped and I have a witness to this too. I was in real danger because of him! Aw, oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? Not me. <laughs> Your brother pays the police station very well. All these new cars and uniforms are because of him. And I look so good in this uniform. That doesn't make him above the law. Actually, it does. Because I am the law! Now get out of here! You're annoying! And I need to buy T-Swift tickets. Well, looks like my brother paid off the police. Now he can do whatever he wants. How are you gonna stop him now? I have an idea. Conrad told me the old family business was going under. What's the idea? I just need to make some phone calls. Hey, Conrad, we need to talk. Uh, what, what was that? Uh, I don't talk to poor people, please leave. I know what you did to Sarah. Who? Don't play stupid. You had my wife kidnapped all those years ago. Everything you had should have been mine in the first place. I was just taking back what was rightfully mine. You're my brother. How can you still defend what you did? Oh, uh, whatever. This can't be the only reason why you're here. Did you decide to help me finally? We are brothers after all. Yeah, I decided to help the business. Excellent news. Let's get the merger papers written up. Oh, there's no need for that. I spoke with the board of directors, and they agreed to sell the entire company to me. That's impossible. I would never allow that. It's already been approved. You ran dad's business into the ground. The board is mad, and I'm going to save this company. Are you? Oh, you'll regret this. You are no longer my brother. And honestly, you never were to begin with. Oh, and now that I'm the boss, you're fired. You can see yourself out. Happy birthday, Dad. You're a hundred years old. I almost forgot. Thank you, son. I can't believe I'm finally a trillionaire once again, too. So, uh, what do you want to do now, Dad? It's time for me to retire. I want you to run the business. I won't let you down, Dad. I know you'll do great. 
I'm so happy we're here together, Dad. This is amazing. Son, someday all of this will be yours. You're a billionaire son after all. <laughs> is that an alarm? Yes, and it's not good. Quick, let's get to the helicopter. Uh, what's happening? The yacht is going down. Move. Hold on, son. We're getting out of here. Wait, do you even know how to drive this thing? I'm a billionaire. I'll figure it out. Dad! I'm losing control. Eject! Eject! Watch out! Ah! Got a helicopter crash here. It exploded. I think everyone is dead. Oh, this is a shame. It looks brutal. <coughs> oh my gosh. Someone survived. Tad, Tad, where are you? Hey man, are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. Okay, you've got to get checked out. You might have some serious injuries. No, wait, look, my dad, he's in there somewhere. Please, we gotta help him. Whoa, 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 hold up. You need to relax and wait for the emergency response team to get here. No, no, I need to find my father. I need to, ugh. Oh no, we have a cold blue. I need to get this kid to the hospital right away. Oh, man. Where am I? You're in the hospital. Ah! Dad, you're a ghost? What? No! I'm not dead. You're not? Liam, I'm a billionaire. Nothing can kill me. But the helicopter... Yeah, I crashed it. Oh, well. But you didn't hit the emergency eject button like I told you to. I was worried sick about you. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm sorry. Well, you need to learn better if you want to survive as a billionaire. Look, I'm just glad that we're okay. Whoa! Malvin Rich Guy! You're a billionaire! Yeah, you think I don't know that? I want to make sure my son has every single test imaginable. I want to make sure he's safe. Already on it, sir. Liam is good to go. Look, I feel fine, Dad. I promise. Good. This should cover it then. Come on, Liam. We have to go buy ourselves a new helicopter. This helicopter crash is probably a major distraction for my employees. Hopefully, everything's going normally. No, I will take over the company in the meantime if he's dead. I don't care about his stupid... <coughs> oh, well, looks like we're good. Good to go. Um, I'll talk to you later. Also, Liam, I'm so glad you're both okay. I heard about the tragedy about the helicopter. Yes, Charlie, we're both fine. Thanks for staying here and holding down the fort. Funny, huh? You were acting like you were gonna run the place. Yes, well, I was just trying to do what I could for the company. Good! Now both of you can get out of my office and get to work. We have money to make here, people! Move it, let's go! Yes, sir. Hey, don't you ever make me look so stupid like that again in front of your dad. Got it? Back off, man! You were the one that did that to yourself. You know what? I don't like you. You're nothing but a spoiled little brat. I don't care what you think of me. Think whatever you want. I don't like you either. Or trust you. Not at all. I don't care what you think. I'm going to go far in this company. And you're not going to stand in my way. Whatever, man. Man, I'm hungry. I should see if Dad wants to grab some dinner tonight. Okay, Charlie. I like it. Sounds good. Thanks. What was that about? Charlie has an awesome idea about saving some money. Oh, did he, huh? What was his idea? He says we should turn everything over in the building to a cleaner energy source. Brilliant, huh? Wait, what? Liam, why would you be upset about that? It's gonna save us millions of dollars. That was my proposal. Charlie stole it from me. Eh, who cares? Either way, I'll be rich. <laughs> oh, don't take it so personal, son. It's just business. I don't know, Dad. I really don't trust Charlie at all. He's just an employee. He's ambitious, but he's fine. He saves me money and I like that. Well, I'm not sure if that's actually true. Liam, listen to me. I've made a multi-billion dollar fortune. I know a lot of things, especially when it comes to business. And you're still learning. Yeah, all right, you're right. Of course I am. Now forget about Charlie. You are the heir to my empire, and you'll have nothing to worry about. So you keep saying. Oh, and by the way, do you want to have dinner tonight? Uh, I was thinking... Uh, hold on, I gotta take this. Melvin Rich Guy here! <laughs> Mr. President! Yeah! Hello, hello! Dude, this is so cool! Thanks for getting me into the movie premiere! Yeah, no worries, man! Tickets to these things are really expensive! Brendan, you're my best friend, it's no big deal, and I figured this would be fun! Well, thanks anyways. You know, you've always been a good friend to me too. Must be pretty cool to be a billionaire son, though. Yeah, it's alright. 
but like anything, it could be pretty challenging. Liam! Liam, rich guy! See what I mean? It must be so nice to be rich. Show us what it's like to be rich, dude! Uh, no, I'm good. No, thank you. Shut up! Do something crazy! Buy the movie theater! Buy the town! Ugh, look, Brendan, I have to go, man. Yeah, no worries. I'll catch you later. Well, this kind of sucks. I can't even enjoy a night out with my friend without getting followed by a bunch of weirdos. I know I'm super lucky to be a billionaire's son, but man, even though things can be weird sometimes, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Hey, you're coming with me. What the? Hey, knock it off, man. Get in the van. No, no, listen. Okay, just just, just take the car, okay? Do you want money? I, I can give you money. I want you to shut up. Ah! Hey! Uh <laughs> Someone! Get me out of here! <laughs> no one can hear you, you loser. But don't worry. I'll get you out of here for $500 million. $500 million? Have you lost your mind? I don't have that kind of money. Of course you do. You're a rich guy. I know you're a billionaire. No, my dad, he's a billionaire, not me. Well then, we need to convince your dad you're worth $500 million. I don't even know if my dad would spend that on me. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, wait. You're serious, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pathetic. Your dad won't even come save you. Oh boy. Well, we'll find out soon enough. And if he doesn't save you, you can just rot in here all on your own. Hey, man, get me out of here. Stop. I can't believe this! How on earth did this happen? I'm not sure, sir. I think Liam is pretty irresponsible, though, to be honest. I mean, he is the one that got kidnapped. It's not his fault! They just want my money, filthy criminals! Sir, 500 million dollars is too much money. But it's my son, Charlie! My only son and heir! I know, but maybe let them think on it. Think on it? Are you insane? I'm just looking out for your best interest, sir. Maybe they'll come down on their ransom price. I can take over Liam's responsibilities at the company while he's gone. Everything will be fine. Hmm, you might be right. We still need to run the business. Thank you for being here for me in this time of need. I don't know what I would do without you, Charlie. Of course, sir. If we can hold off for, say, a day or two, I might have a plan. Liam will be fine. Trust me. Very well. Just make sure my son gets home safely. I will, and thank you, sir. I think the plan might actually work. Good, it better. I want my money. You'll get your money. Just listen to me carefully. Oh man, I think it's been like a week now. My dad hasn't saved me yet. Does he love his money more than me? Well, we got no communication from your father. Looks like he's not paying the ransom. Please, look, this has to be a mistake. But it's not. <laughs> he probably doesn't love you. Shut it. I can't believe this. Well, I can. You kind of suck. Confirmed eyes on target. Engage the enemy. What the? Ah! Oh! Whoa, what's going on? We're here to save you, sir. Come with us. Target has been acquired. Baby Bird is coming home. I repeat, Baby Bird is coming home. Sir, we brought your son home nice and safe. Liam! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I'm so glad you're home. Thank you, Bravo Leader. Well done. No problem, sir. All in a day's work. <laughs> son, you look terrible. Did they feed you? Those terrible trash criminals. I'll have the chef make something up for you. Dad, uh... I thought you weren't gonna save me. What? Of course I was gonna save you. What on earth made you think that? I don't know, I was there for a week. I was worried. I thought you'd choose money over me. Despite what you may think, you are the only thing in this world worth more to me than money. You really mean that, Dad? Of course I do. Why do you think I'd hire private security to rescue you? You're my son, Liam. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, it means a lot. There have been a couple changes at work that we need to discuss, but you should go and have some time and relax. Maybe by the beach. You've been through a lot. Changes at work? What do you mean? What happened? Don't worry about that now. Private jet will be waiting for you and your friend tomorrow. I'll see, I'll see you back at work in about a week or so. All right. Thank you. Again, it means a lot to know that you care, Dad. 
Of course I care. I love you, son. Oh, sorry, hold on, I gotta take this. Go for rich guy! What do you mean, best offer? That's trash! No, I need more money! Dude, you know, this is pretty cool that your dad rented out this whole place for us. Yeah, and I'm glad that security is around, honestly. Getting kidnapped sucked. I'm not gonna lie, I was worried about you, dude. Thanks, man. I was starting to get worried, too. I was trying to work with the police a lot to try and find you, but they didn't have the resources your dad does since, you know, he's a billionaire and all. Yeah, don't worry, man. It's all good. And it's gonna be so good to have you back at work. Charlie doing your job has been absolutely terrible. Wait, what? Charlie was doing my job? Yeah, you didn't know that? I thought your dad would have told you first thing. No, he didn't. Sorry, uh, I've got to get back home, man. Charlie cannot be trusted. Yeah, this is Liam. I need a helicopter. Now. Dad, what the heck is going on? When were you going to tell me that Charlie stole my job? He didn't steal your job. He's just doing it for you right now. Yeah, and I'm doing pretty good at it, too. <laughs> Well, I have a feeling that you've had this plan, Charlie. That is nonsense. Charlie's working overtime to cover for you while you were out. Well, I was kidnapped, Dad. I wasn't just out of office. Well, still, the work must continue, and I have been working very hard. Yeah, working hard to steal my job. You're not tricking anyone. All right, I've had enough. You will always have a job here, Liam, obviously. This company's gonna be yours one day. But we need something that isn't so public so we can keep you safe. We only caught one of the kidnappers, and he confessed that he was working with another. This is ridiculous, Dad. Honestly, Liam, why do you care? You're rich. Go do something else. You don't have to work. That isn't the point, man. This is my family's legacy here, our empire, and I want to help build it. And you will. This is all just temporary until I can track down the person who kidnapped you. For now, just hang out and relax. Stay low, be quiet. Yeah, I mean, that's basically all you do all day anyway. You know nothing about me, Charlie, and I know you're up to something. And when I find out, you're done for. This is so cool, Liam. You get to throw out the first pitch of the game? Yeah, it is pretty cool. I'm really sorry about what happened at work, dude. I tried to stop Charlie, but he outranks me. There's nothing I could really do. It's all right, man. Charlie, he's had my dad wrapped around his finger, and he doesn't even see it. Charlie sucks. What, do you really think he would have been the one that kidnapped you? Well, I don't know. It, it seems crazy, but this guy's weird. It's hard to trust anyone when you're a billionaire, and I would not put it past him. Hey, you trust me, don't you? Yeah, man, of course I do. You're like a brother to me. Look, we've been friends since I was a little kid, all right? You really think I would think that you'd do that? You were there for me when I lost my mom. Of course I trust you. Well, thanks, man. That means a lot. Maybe I can try and see if I hear anything about Charlie. I'm not an executive like you guys are, but I might overhear something. Dude, honestly, that would be great. And maybe you should just talk to your dad, you know? Tell him how you feel. Everyone, cheer for our game guest of honor, billionaire Liam Rich Guy! Yeah, um, anyway, uh, time to throw the first pitch! Hey, Dad! Whoa, what are you doing? I'm trying to get better at sword fighting. What does it look like I'm doing? Right, uh, can we talk? About what? Can't this wait? You know what? No, it can't. I want to know what's really going on. Why are you getting so close with Charlie? Charlie's a good worker, and he's doing his job well. Why are you so upset about this? Because, Dad, I don't have a good feeling about him. I don't trust him at all. Well, I think Charlie is fine. You're probably just jealous that I'm hanging out with him more. I'm not jealous, okay? I'm concerned. This business is important to me. And you don't think it's important to me? That's not what I said. I built this empire from nothing. I think I have enough experience to know who I can trust and who I can't. And Charlie is someone that I can trust. If you have a problem with it, you're gonna have to get over it. Dad, okay, just listen to me. No, I will not listen to nonsense. End of conversation. I'm going back to practice my sword fighting. Leave me alone. Well, I'm glad at least you were smart enough not to get caught. Yeah, I am too. But look, the plan still fell apart. That's because you don't see the big picture here. I'm closer to the old man now than ever. I think I can take this whole company from him. 
All right, well, that's great, but what about the money now? We can steal some if we need it. I mean, he has so much money, he won't miss a couple hundred thousand missing. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> I'm in this for the money, dude. I really don't care. You need to think of the bigger picture here. Yeah, whatever. You really want his whole company, don't you? I do. If I can take that company, I can control a lot of things and make Liam broke. <laughs> what do you have against that rich guy's kid anyways? I hate him. I hate him because he was born rich. While I was born into a family that was broke, I worked hard for everything I have. Meanwhile, he just gets handed things left and right. I'm going to put an end to it. Liam sucks. All right, didn't think I was gonna unpack all of that. Uh, yeah, Liam sucks. I know, I just said that. Ugh. I think I have some ideas, and you better not mess this up. What on earth? No. No, this can't be! What is happening? Hey, Dad. Liam, did you withdraw $30 million last night? What? No, why? Because it's missing from our bank account, and it looks like it went to an account that you might own. Dad, come on. I wouldn't just take money from you. Well, somebody did! And I need to get to the bottom of this! This is ridiculous! Sir, I saw what happened. Do you really think Liam stole from you? No. Someone else took the money and moved it to cover it up. Well, sir, it seems more likely that Liam actually did steal it. He was mad about me taking the job. He didn't steal it, Charlie. I'm going down to the bank to figure this out with Liam right now. Very good, sir. I'll have your car ready. <laughs> good. The plan is in motion. Well, looks like you were right, sir. Seems as though someone set up a fake account. If you look closely, it says Liam Rich Idiot for the last name, not Rich Guy. See, I told you, Dad. I just had to make sure. Can I get the money back, Wilbert, or what? Normally, no. But since I can tell this is someone stealing from you, we'll send it back over to your account. Thank goodness, $30 million is like another yacht. <laughs> well, thank you for saving my money. Yeah, man, hey, thank you for the help. No problem, sir. The money should be refunded now. Ah, oh, what a relief. You know, I was so worried we were gonna lose that money. That was a huge part of our fortune. Yeah, and I can't believe that you didn't trust me from the get-go. I do trust you, Liam. I just had to get to the bottom of this. It didn't make sense. Well, the answer's right in front of you, Dad. You just don't see it. Liam, come on! Don't be like that! All right, gotta meet Brendan for dinner. I can't be late. They took back the money, idiot. We need to move to the next phase of the plan. Wait, that's Charlie, and who's that other guy? Yeah, there he is! Yeah, I'm out of here! Hey, who was that? He looked pretty sketchy. Yeah, he was. Just some poor loser asking me for money, and I said no. <laughs> So that's what you're gonna go with, huh? Shut up, Liam. You think you're so cool and so smart, don't you? No, I don't think that at all. Let me tell you one thing. I'm going to run this company someday, and you'll be out on the streets and broke, watching from the sidelines. So I was right, huh? I knew you had it out for me. Of course I do. Why, man? What did I ever do to you? Because you have everything I want, and I don't have it. So, you're jealous. You don't know me at all, man. I also have a lot more responsibility than you do, too. Shut up! Bottom line is, your dad now likes me more than you, and I'm going to take over the company. I'd like to see you try. Then just watch me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner to get to. Out of my way. 10,001! Huh! 10,002! Huh! Uh, wait. Hello? Is someone there? Liam, is that you? Huh, guess not. That's where you're wrong, pal! Ah! <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I knew that plan would work. <laughs> you're coming with me now. Dad, uh, I'm home. Dad? Hey, what's going on? 
I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. Maybe your dad's just working late or something? No, my dad is usually doing his exercises from 8 to 10, and it's only 9. Oh, this isn't good. He's not here. Uh, why don't you just check your security cameras? Yeah, good idea. Wait, no, 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 no. The cameras, they've been shut off. Oh, no. Dude, I hate to say it, but your dad might have been kidnapped just like you. No, oh, this is Charlie. It has to be. I know he has something to do with all of this. I just know it. Yeah, this is Liam. Liam, rich guy? Look, my dad, he's missing. Exactly. And that is why I should be running the company in his absence. No, he shouldn't. Where were you earlier, Liam? You should have been here. No one told me about the meeting. Looks like I was the only one left out of the invite. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He doesn't have any sense of responsibility whatsoever. What if he accidentally wasn't invited to a closing of a giant sale either? Charlie, you're the one that did this. I know it was you. Shut up. Let's take it to a vote. Those in favor of letting Charlie run the company until Melvin returns, say aye. 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 Huh. And there you go. Looks like this is my company now. <laughs> no, you won't get away with this. Well, according to the board, I already have. I know you have something to do with my dad disappearing, Charlie. Why don't you just go and pack your things and leave for the day? I think you're done here. I'm not done yet. Well, I am. Security, escort Mr. Rich Guy out of here immediately. This isn't over, man. Just remember that. Will somebody please get me out of here? This place is disgusting. Shut it, Rich Dude. There's no help coming this time. Rich Dude, I'm Melvin Rich Guy. What do you want, you fool? Money, is that it? Yeah, dude, we want everything, pal. We want your whole entire company, too. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's never going to happen. Oh, trust me, it's already happening. We have money already coming out of the account. So, it was you that stole the $30 million, wasn't it? Oh, wow, you actually do have a couple brain cells in there, yeah. Except this time, you won't catch us, and it'll be a lot more than that. <laughs> I'm good! Dude, things have been really different at work now. I can only imagine. Charlie's basically acting like he owns the whole company. Dude, I know he kidnapped my dad, but the police and the detectives are taking way too long to find him. I hate to say it, but if they don't find your dad soon, Charlie might do something really, really bad. Bad? Like what? Like steal all of the money, bankrupt the company, or fire everyone working there? That kind of bad. Yeah, I know. I want to do something, but he kicked me out of the building, and I can't go back in even if I wanted to. Well, maybe I could sneak you back in? No, Brandon, no way. I don't want to risk you losing your job like that. So what are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to go find my dad myself. I'm sorry, sir, but you can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? How hard is it to take all of the money from this account and put it into my own? That's not how it works. Then tell me how it works. You need to have everybody on the board of trustees sign off on the transfer. I am the boss of this company. I'm taking ownership of it. So forget the board and do what I say. Again, sir, this isn't how it works. And there's nothing else I have to say to you. Oh, you suck. Have a nice day, sir. Whatever. Ugh. I need to move things along faster than I thought. That rich jerk, Melvin, is gonna pay and give me everything I want. One way or another, I'm getting that fortune. Thanks for letting me in, Bigsby, and thanks for keeping this quiet. No problem, sir. Charlie's a total scumbag. I hate that guy. He's acting like he owns this place. We'll get it taken care of once my dad gets back. Please, uh, get him back soon, sir. I miss him a lot. Me too, Bigsby. Me too. There has to be something I could do, or something that I can use to find out Charlie's plan and expose him. I'm really worried about my dad. I can't let anything happen to him. And then he said there was nothing he could do. Oh, great. He's here. I've got to hide. I know. What a loser, right? So, long story short, I can't transfer the money. I didn't know that's how things worked. Yeah, yeah, I know. But don't worry. This company will be mine. I mean, I stole it from that idiot rich guy. And soon, I'll have his fortune too. Maybe I should come down and pay the old man a visit. I have some questions I want to ask him. 
Now is my time. I'm going to find my dad. You better give me your bank account passwords or else. Or else what? What are you gonna do, huh? The answer is no, and I'll be out of here soon enough. <laughs> I doubt it, sir. Charlie, thank goodness. Are you here to save me? Man, for a billionaire, you really are stupid. Yeah, this is my boss, you idiot. You, you betrayed me after everything I've done for you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wanted this company and I'm taking it. And now I want your money. So you're going to tell me where there it is now. I have no reason to tell you anything, you poor loser. Well, if you ever want to see your son again, you'll tell me now. What did you do to him? We have him kidnapped too, somewhere deep in the woods. And we'll feed him to the wolves if you don't pay us. You are pure evil, Charlie. So what? <laughs> now, let's start with the combination to your vault. Tell me now. <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you the combination. What is Charlie hiding in here? Is it my dad? Hey, I need you guys down here, right away. Here it is. <laughs> the rich guy vault. This is the moment I've been waiting for. The moment I deserve. <laughs> Time to get this stupid thing open. What's going on? Why won't it open? Ugh! Oh, uh, yes, boss? He lied to us. Find out what the real combination is. All right, yeah. Uh, hey, give me the real combination, you rich snob. That is the real one. He's at the decoy vault. <laughs> you think I'd be so naive? If you want to see your son again, then tell us where it is. Fine. It's at my mansion. It's not at the office. Did you hear that, boss? It's at the house. Yes, I heard it. Good work. Now stand by in case I run into more issues. All right, can you pick me a pizza up on the... Yeah, actually, this could work out to my advantage. I might as well take everything I can at the mansion while I'm there. I just need to take care of Liam first. Good work on this, Liam. Thanks. You ready to save my dad? Yeah, I am. Hey, what the heck? Ah! That's what you get for messing with my family. Liam! You're free, sir. We have this place completely surrounded. About time. Do you have any idea what I had to go through? I was drinking tap water, not even bottled. What took so long? Look, it was hard to find you, Dad, okay? Are you all right? Do I look all right to you? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just stressed out. I, I am fine, Liam. I was wrong about Charlie the whole time. Yeah, I know. I've been telling you that. Well, now I believe you, and I believe it's time we take back what's rightfully ours. I'm with you, Dad. Look here. I've come into quite some money recently, and I want to find a way to take total control of this company. How much does it cost? Uh, sir, we can't do that. Yes, you can. Now give me this company, or there's going to be trouble for you and every other member of the board. Oh my gosh. Uh, sir, what are you doing here? What a surprise. What a relief. <laughs> Shut up. Look, um, I can explain. I, I was just... You were just being a criminal. You think you could just take something? from us because you think you deserve it? Well, guess what, man? You don't. I worked hard for this company, built it from nothing, and you want to come in here and think I owe it to you? Well, it's not fair. I want to be rich and powerful too. Liam doesn't deserve this. I do. Well, I told you that you were never going to take this company from us, and I meant it. Take this guy away. Okay, you're coming with me. What? No. No.